big one twice, Cascadia Fault could trigger the San Andreas and destroy the west coast. We've also had a deep quake recorded today. 2.7, Hayford, California, on the Juan de Fuca Plate. And 42 kilometers depth is very deep for this area, which is a very thin crust. Major earthquakes along the west coast of the U.S. could trigger another devastating tremor north of the country. This is what geologists are revealing what could be a cataclysmic domino effect. One fault could trigger the other. Sean Martin Express UK reports. This is what the geologists are saying. They're aware of two impending huge earthquakes along the west coast of America. Scientists said that one could trigger the other. One of the quakes will be along the San Andreas Fault in California, and experts have for some time been warning of the big one there, a huge earthquake measuring at least a 7.9, according to U.S. Geological Survey. Because centuries worth of tension has built up along the fault lines beneath California. Another likely huge tremor will come from the Cascadia subduction zone, which is further north along the west coast of the U.S., which could release a magnitude 9 tremor. Cascadia subduction zone is thought to generate huge quakes every 200 to 530 years, huge meaning massive, megathrust quakes. The last one was in 1700, and when that hit, the fault slipped by 20 meters at 60 feet and ruptured 620 miles down the west coast of the U.S. as well as Canada. And such was the power that it created a tsunami that hit the coast of Japan more than 3,000 miles away on the other side of the Pacific Ocean. While the two potential earthquakes are not associated, one scientist who's due to present his findings has stated that the massive tremors could trigger one another. If that were to happen, there would be sheer destruction along the entire west coast of the United States, as you can understand. It would cripple Washington, Oregon, and California, along with the southern tip of British Columbia of Canada. Chris Goldfinger of Oregon State University told Jefferson Public Radio Cascadia is big enough by itself, but if you add in San Francisco and the North Coast, it's literally almost a grade B movie scenario that people don't want to think about that much. Goldfinger and his team analyze the history of these two earthquakes and has said that there is evidence that they go off around similar times, which means that one triggers the other. He says, I've been working on the chronology for San Andreas and Cascadia and some of the events I can't really tell them apart in time. They seem to have happened at more or less the same time. When you have two big faults that connect directly, there's a pretty high probability they're going to interact in some way. So one fault triggering another, or even becoming synchronized with the other for a period of time, it's not a fantastic scenario. It does happen, and it has happened. It's actually a fairly likely scenario. It just is not on the radar anywhere yet, Part of this reason the west coast of the U.S. is so seismically active is because it's sitting on the Pacific Ring of Fire. It's the largest, most active fault in the world, stretching from New Zealand around the east coast of Asia, over to Canada and the U.S., and all the way down to the southern tip of South America, and causes more than 90% of the world's earthquakes. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue 
my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.